His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Al Sakhir Palace today the credentials of the newly appointed ambassadors of Korea, Thailand, Yemen, Guinea and Bosnia and Herzegovina. The ambassador of the Republic of Korea, Park Ho, arrived at Al Sakhir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of Royal Protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of the Kingdom of Thailand, Chayapan Bamrang Hong, arrived at Al Sahir Palace, where he was welcomed by the head of Royal Protocol, and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The newly appointed ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of the Republic of Yemen, Ali Hassan al Ahmadi, arrived at Sahir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of Royal Protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador.
The ambassador of the Republic of Guinea, Al Hassan Siwari, arrived at Sakhir Palace, where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of the Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Zoran Milicevic, arrived at Al Sahir Palace where he was met by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. During the audiences, His Majesty the King underlined the close relations linking Bahrain and their countries and the progress of these relations in many areas. For their part, the ambassadors conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of their leaders and their wishes to His Majesty the King for good health and happiness and to Bahrain further progress and prosperity.
His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the artist Jatim Al Miba, who presented to His Majesty his artworks and his portrait. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the artist for his efforts in completing the artwork, which reflects his passion in serving his country. His Majesty expressed pride in the Bahraini people and their contributions to the kingdom's achievements and to enhancing Bahrain's status in various fields. Mr. Al Mebar expressed appreciation to His Majesty the King for his steadfast support, which motivates Bahrainis to continue their role and efforts in serving their country. Wishing His Majesty success and good health. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, paid an inspection visit to Sanibus Village today, where he toured the area and also checked on the status of Sanibus Elementary School for Girls. In response to village residents, the Prime Minister directed the building of a new school and the commencement of urgent maintenance work at the present one, so that students don't have to be transferred to other schools far from the village. He also directed the acquisition of a number of plots to serve infrastructure demands and improve the quality of services provided to the people of Sanibus. The Prime Minister affirmed the government's concern that citizens are provided with the best government services, highlighting the government's interest in achieving the best environment for ensuring educational, health and housing services. He confirmed pride in the achievements already made, stressing that the government's ambition for a better life for the people is unlimited. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudubia Palace today a number of royal family members and senior state officials. His Royal Highness said that Arab security and stability are linked to accurate diagnosis of the threats facing the Arab nation, which require exceptional cooperation and coordination in all fields. He said that vicious intentions and conspiracies against the region's countries are clear, explaining that stronger Arab cooperation has become a necessity for enhancing unity. The meeting also discussed a number of national issues where His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said the government is blessed with a people that support it towards a brighter future under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He said the government is keen to achieve the aspirations of the people and meet their demands. He also reviewed with the audience a number of regional and international issues that require enhanced joint coordination and cooperation.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabiya Palace today members of the Al-Rumehi family who thanked His Royal Highness for his condolences and noble sentiments on the demise of Khalifa bin Khanim bin Omar Al-Rumehi. The Prime Minister highlighted Bahrain's tradition of interacting with the people at times of joy and sadness, asserting the importance of such traditions and reinforcing national unity. He noted the role of the al Rumehi family members in serving their country, noting the honourable stances and loyalty of all Bahraini families. For their part, the audience expressed thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness for his unwavering support, which embodies the strong relationship between the leadership and the people. They wished him continued success in serving the kingdom and its people.